Good day, everyone, and welcome to Production Line, episode number seven. Ooh, look at that! We finished researching something straight up in the game. So, uh, first of all, let's go and let's just stop this for a second because it's time that you and I had a little chat. Uh, now, as happened in another video. The real world interrupted my uh, play, and this is in fact episode seven, take two, because the real world just basically made it an editing nightmare to try and put it all together. So I've restarted. So what I would like to talk about, uh, and I'm just going to pause this for a minute. Ooh, look at that! 1.8 million gazulis. That's nice. <clears throat> Okay, what I want to talk about is the fact that the game actually appears to lie to us. Now, I say appears to because there may be, you know, somewhere where this actually works, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> and I'll show you what I mean when we come in here and we have a look at the gross profit. Now, the gross profit here tells us that we're losing money and a considerable amount of money. But in the episode that was, you know, didn't make it into the, the editing room, uh, it seemed that when I had cars that were losing money, our company was still making money. So originally my thinking about this figure here the gross profit, right, was that it calculated the costs that go into it, you know, components, overhead costs, capital costs, all that sort of stuff, uh, which you would do, and then you come up with this figure. But I noticed that if, for example, I went ahead and I built like a new, what do you call these things again? A new slot in my production line, that this figure went into the minus even more. And if I didn't do that, then this figure went into the green, i.e. I actually made a profit. So I think it bases this calculation not on historical evidence, but on current evidence. So if I go and very quickly build something, then the capital cost rises. And then while I have not building anything, the capital cost drops. That's my guessing. I, and overhead cost probably also. I don't know. So I don't think this is a true reflection of the profit that we're making because, and I say this because, there was a time in the episode that you're not seeing where I wasn't building anything or had just built something, sorry, I should say, I had cars sitting in the showroom and I started selling them and the company's profit, the company's profit went up even though the cars were loss makers. So I have some doubts about this number. So I think in terms of actual operating the company, the point is just to sell the cars anyway and kind of ignore this number if we possibly can, because it does not seem to help. Uh, you sh even if you sell this, you should make some money back, but you shouldn't make a profit, which we were doing. So uh, that's not helpful, really, to us. We're, I'm probably trying to stay as close to, you know, plus if I can, but, you know... If you follow this and try to sell cars, you never sell any cars. And the company's profit's not based on this. However, even though we have, having said all of that, even though we have 1.8 million gazulis in the bank, I smell trouble coming. Because um, one of the things I think happens in the game is if you are not getting your cars out quick enough, uh, then what happens is 
you have too much capital tied up and you're not selling your vehicles and therefore you're not making the money to keep the company going. And the over and the whole game, I think, is about efficiency. So what we're looking at is a double whammy here. We've got to sell the cars, yes. We do need efficiency in the line, yes. But we also need efficiency in the manufacturing process not just the cars in the line, but also um, things like, and, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here very quickly. We go to expenses. Things like our expenses. We need to keep our expenses down. And we've got some big expenses in here. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately for us, it doesn't show percentages of total expense. But, but you would have to look at this and say, like rent, power purchase, and component purchase are other. All oh, right, as opposed to these, comp wow, as opposed to these individual components, there's everything else. Uh, but the, so obviously, component purchase is a huge part of our costs. Uh, but a big one, even more so than rent, is it more so than rent? Let's have a look. Rent, 10000 And power, which is what that is, is 15000 So we could do ourselves a big favour and get rid of that or cut that back. And then we could look at reducing our component purchase price, which is $70,000 an hour. It's huge. Wow, the door panels. Look how... Wow, the seats, the powertrain, the brakes, the tyres, the wheels. Okay, so it's, it's telling me, I think... What's the difference between door panels and seats? Where's door panel? Are they over here? No, they're not. So we can't, can we not look at those individually? Door panels and seats. Well, hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Uh, no, sort by price. Door panels and seats. Uh, seat 983. And a door panel's 433. Ah, sedan, four doors. Right, so that's uh, that's well over 1,300. So that's 1,300 plus per car. And you might as well say that's 1,000. So those two are the most expensive, well, unless we put aircon in, so why is an aircon? Oh no, because it's the third one down. Okay, hang on. Third one down. Powertrain. Aircon's not even in there. Oh, aircon's not in there because we haven't got much aircon going yet. Okay. All right. Okay. So what I'd like, that's what we need to do. So we need to be mindful of the marketing environment, the actual processing of our cars in our factory, and the, and the overhead costs of producing a car. So we've got three things to worry about there, and, and we haven't even got to considering marketing yet. So the first thing I want to do uh, at the moment, because we've finished our accessory specialisation, um, why did I do that? Oh, my goodness. That was going to be heater. Yep, heater. Okay, we're going to put heater on hold for a minute because I want to do this in a way that we can get some traction going for our cars. Now, even though, right, even though we aren't leading the marketplace, we want to be making a sustainable company. So right now, what I want to do is go ahead... Uh, 
to process. Now, hang on a minute. Where are we? Uh, I was actually previously thinking about going into marketing. But what I think I'm going to do is go power production. And power production of, and I'll just do this while I'm here so I don't have to come back. So we're researching power production. It's not that expensive, 750. And power production, oh, sorry, power production in terms of our expenses is right there. $15,000. So we want to cut that back. So that's an infrastructure thing, if you like. So let's, let's carry on with the game. Uh, in terms of our production. So we're going to go start to this and we're away. Now, we're going to complete, uh, we're going to keep an eye on this for a start. Oh, and the other thing I want to do, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, is I've tried to break these up into uh, mid-range and budget, but that's just not working at all at at all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename these we're just going to have the sedan maestro and this guy is going to not be the budget because we can't we can't maintain that and i, and I say that in the sense that the price fluctuations are all over the place i mean we we want to charge what we can charge but um, we need to base. So that's the base model with very little of anything in it, okay? And the maestro over here is, let's call it, you know, for want of a marketing name, we'll call it the Elan. Ooh, very French. That means it's going to sell well. He says that. Uh, we haven't put air conditioning in yet. <gasps> we need to put air conditioning in. Now hold on your horses here. Fit accessories. Okay, let's have a look at this for a minute. Fit aircon. We can fit aircon. We could put all this in, but it is going to cost us money. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to fit aircon. Is that fit aircon? Did I press fit aircon? I'm going to put just fit aircon in. And we'll see if that works. Why don't you fit in there? You don't fit in there because... Hang on, you don't fit in there because, that's why. Did you need a reason? Well, you, maybe you did. Maybe. Okay, so we're going to fit aircon. And that's pretty much all we're going to do for right now. Now, I don't know if that will work, frankly. don't know if that will work. Will that work? I did that for free. That's good. Okay. But we're going to find out. Okay. Waiting for resources, so let's wait a minute. Ooh, look, here come aircon units. Okay, and you don't get aircon. Okay, so it works. Now we need to go in and redesign the Elan, 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 and include air conditioning. And it doesn't give us a recommended price, does it? Market value is 17000 And the component cost is 19000 well, It's ridiculous. All right, so we're going to put you up to holy dooly. Okay, let's put you up to 20%. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to do. 
And the second thing we're going to do is come down here and not make one for one, change the schedule up, but make two for one, as in two of the base model and one of the alarm, making it marketing wise that, and actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause you. There you go. And we're going to clear this out. And that's going to cut down costs because we're not buying any products. And we still have cars in the showroom. Now, the other thing I want to do, actually, you know what? We don't, we don't have that. So let's bring that price right back down. Ah, sorry. Okay, let's bring you up to 23,500. And let's bring you down to 23,500. Okay, and we'll just get rid of you out of the showroom. It doesn't have air conditioning, right? And you've been in there for three hours. So three hours is okay. So let's look at our discounts. So if you don't have features, we're going to sell you for 55%. Universal features, 25 card defects. Now, let's add a new one. <gasps> look at that. Car spent in the showroom. Okay, if you're in the showroom for four hours, I think you get a 20% discount. Okay. If you're in the show, oh, I don't know if this is going to work, but if you're in the showroom for six hours, I'm going to give you a 30% discount. And if you're in the showroom for eight hours, I'm going to give you a 40% discount. Now, is that a good idea? I have no idea. But uh, we are going to try and get this. Now, the other thing too is we need to bump up our research because um, we are falling behind. And if we are attempting to keep up with all this research we're going to be trying to do going to going to trying to going to be trying to do oh my goodness imagine what it would be like to sit in a dark room and stare at a computer screen playing games and then try to remember to speak English like what they taught at school not going to really happen is it no not really Not a hundred percent utilization. I think we really just need to clear out this backlog down here. So that travels all the way up to there. This travels to there. But this one, I don't think we want this one to go all the way up to there. I think we'd rather have that come in from there. So let's just pause you for a minute. Um, um, um. Yeah, we'll pause you for a minute. We're going to take you out. It's kind of it's kind of in the neat and tidy area, but not really because uh, what's actually going on here is we're buying the materials, shipping them up there, and it's taking a long time to fulfill the orders uh, or get the stockpiles going up in this area. So we're trying to shorten that period down. Why is that? Yeah, okay. 
we're trying to shorten this period where things have to wait. And that, I think, is the last one that we need. Yep. Okay. And uh, start the game again. Okay. Yep. Here come the accessories. Yeah, all looking very good. Are you going to do aircon units as well? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. The COO speaks to us. Is too expensive, does it? Okay, we have nine here. Okay. Although they, we had eight. He thought he said we had nine, but now it's telling us we have eight. We un, I'm only going to worry about it when it gets to, now because we need to see whether our our um, discount structure is working. So we really only have to worry about it when it gets to the 10th hour. Yeah, I think that's good. I think we're doing okay, frankly. Uh, the Maestro... You know what, I might put... No, 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 no. no. And the Sedan Maestro Elan, but... We don't have too many of those. Now, we know there's a bottleneck here. So I think what we need to do is... I'm tempted to put another one in. Oh, I so am tempted to put another one in. I think I'm going to put another one in because when we restart production, we really, really, really want to get this moving. And I really, really, really want to be successful and not go broke again, like like we did in the previous um, episode. Where going broke is a real option. And uh, we embraced it two videos ago. Failure. We embraced our failure. Um, that's it. Now, as soon as this... Oh, look at that. Okay, we have one slot free but fully utilized up there okay well we'll get this cleared out two for five cars okay 12 cars in the showroom 10 one the maestro elan we only have one in the showroom well it's too early to tell you okay how are we doing over here we are going to spend on production now what is what is what is a facility? A oh, power plant. There you go. 30,000. Three power plants will get us in under $100,000. Hmm. I go, yes. Maybe three power plants. We spend $100,000. And we'll reduce our costs. Well, that's it. Now, all right, we've done the research. I think we want to handle this in a particular way where we do something for the vehicle, something for the production line, and something for infrastructure or, you know, the company overall. So we go features of the vehicle or vehicles, the production line, and actually, they might even be the same thing, as it turns out. So I was looking... Okay. Right. So we're going to do... Heater, wasn't it? Heater. Yes, we're going to do heater. Okay. So we've got heater going on. And we just speed you up, because I think that's okay. Okay. And as soon as we get one more out of there, we'll start up the production line again. Now, the production line is two base and one Elan. 
Okay, we get one more out of here, and that's our one. So we're going to go start up our production line again. Thank you very much. And uh, the first car off the rank is a base. Right. And what have we got in base? 12. How many hours have you been there? Seven. It has to be there 10 hours before we get concerned. Do, 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 do. How are we doing? Three. We doing okay. And we're at 1.5. Oh, okay. Now we've got to build. We've got to build. We said we would build. So we're going to build some facilities being the power plant. Um, how many is where is across does this take? Three. And how many up does it take? Three. So one, two, three. And we'll put you there. And then one. And that's three. Okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, energy produced and energy consumed. I think that means we're making about 25, 24% of the power we consume, which means that in the next hour, yes, it's already come down. It was 15,000 before, now it's down to 13,8. That's very good. Okay, so that's going to be good for us. And we, okay, what have we got going on down here? We have capacity at the fit body we are underutilized here by one here comes the one no we're still underutilized okay now we can new upgrade fit dashboard and one other upgrade all slots why is that going to cost us zero dollars because we don't have fit dashboard. Okay, now, where do we fit the heater? This is fit engine. Okay, where's, oh, and we need research. So, um, oh, sorry, hold on. Let's, um, so we've got that. Unlocks upgrade at slot fit dashboard and fit controls. Ah. So fit controls and fit dashboard, we need the two of those. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Fit control and fit dashboard. So where's that going to be? Accessories? Fit control and fit dashboard. Where's control? Anybody know where fit control is? Fit control. Fit dashboard. Oh. Now that's an interesting thing. Fit cabin, fit control, ah, fit control and fit dashboard. Oh, I'm going to need fit dashboard, aren't I? Ah, I'm blur. Mm, okay, hold on. 
So that's well, that's in fit engine. Oh, gotcha. Now that's an interesting concept, isn't it? Uh, now I wonder if this is going to work. No, it's not. It's fit accessories, which is the next one along. After aircon. Hmm. Okay. I think we're in a position to deal with this. Fit dashboard. Fit dashboard. Uh, ooh. Mm hmm. Uh, we're going to move you to there. We're going to get rid of you. And we're going to resource convey you to there. Okay. Then, getting a bit tricky. I think we're going to have to do that. Yep. And we're going to need another rip. Oh, I've lost a cursor. Another resource conveyor. Like so. Um, like so. And how about like so. That could work. It's got all the potential of a possible could work scenario. Uh, and it would work if there weren't any holes in the system like that. Now, we've just added a section called the fit dashboard. And we can upgrade to a heater. Nice. But we're not going to put robots in just yet. Upgrade. by the heater. Yes. Now, what have we got in here? We have upgrades. Buy the extra robots. 6,000. 10%. Oh, that's a good bonus. Not going to do it just yet, though. Okay. Now, let's just see what we've got going on here and watch what happens now the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure we clear out the existing models before we add a new one you can't do it there you've got to do it here so what have we got we've got the alarm coming through as soon as that alarm clears is that an alarm? And we get the next base. That's what we want, the next base out of the way. Okay. Done. Okay, done. So the base is out of the way and there should be another base on the way. So what was it we just got? The heater. No, we got the heater. What was the next one we did? Oh, okay, so the next one is a process. What we could do, I think, now let's... Okay, hang on a sec. We'll just keep the game running, but we'll run... Yeah, we're running it on one. We completed that. We have seven... Let's just check for a second. Oh, I was in showroom three. I'm going to put the price up. Uh, because I don't mind 
put it up by a thousand, and I'm going to put the alarm up by a thousand as well. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it up by. Yeah, that's what I'm going to put it up by. Okay. So, having just done one for the vehicle, now we haven't included the heater yet. Okay, we have not included the heater. So, we could do processes now. Let's just scroll down here for a minute. We could go into marketing. I think marketing would help us. But that's that's five thousand R and D points. Five thousand R and D points. Where where can we manufacture things? We could do robots, that will improve the efficiency. Here's some manufacture. Seating manufacture. We can make seats. I think we should do it, you know. I think we should manufacture seats. That's what we're going to do. And while we're, while we're doing the research on manufacturing seats, we'll clear this out, and then we will adjust the price of the new Elan to include uh, the heater. So there's six maestros in there. Three, 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 three. Oh, sorry, three, one. Yep, so the maximum is four so far. Once again, not gonna worry about it till it gets over 10. And 1.3 million gazulis in the bank. Now, in terms of profit, no. <laughs> well, we just spent a lot of money, okay. 200,000. Okay, all right, fine. The level of competition, yeah, okay, fine. Good, 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 good. Okay. How many Elans? We still only have one Elan in the shop. Three hours. I, I got to say, I think I think we're not doing too badly. In fact, I I'm so sure we're not doing too badly. I'm going to bump you up another thousand, and I'm going to put the Elan. Okay, now. It's worth six hundred and forty-eight dollars. I'm I'm really going to put you up. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put you in yet till we've sold all the alarms that are in the shop. Actually, that's what I could do. Oh, I'm silly. All right, hang on. No, no, we got this all wrong. What we need to do is take out the alarm and maintain the the maestro. Yeah, so we don't um so we don't have spare capacity. Ah, oh, you goose. You just take the model out you're changing and just don't make any of that model and keep the other model running in. Excellent. I'm gonna put another power saving facility device in there. Like so. So we've got four at the moment. And that's good for us. So the basic model is coming out. Okay, so we've got a little bit of slack in there, but that's okay. Chief Operating Officer, are you really annoying you are? Mid-range, yeah, we know that. We've actually stopped producing mid-range cars for the minute. We still got one Maestro Elan in there. How long have you been in there? Where are you? Actually, there you are. 
My, no, you're a base. You're a base. You're a, oh, sorry. Base. 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 We sold it. Okay, well, if we... No, do we have any more on the production line, though? Oh, that's an alarm. Okay. We're going to wait for you to come out. I could always put it out at a new model, couldn't I? And then just run the old model through the system, and when there are no more, that's it. It's done. Uh, yep, that's what we're going to do. Create new model, just like this model. And you are going to be... Maestro Ilan. Alpha. Maestro Ilan A. Maestro Ilan 1. And we're going to... Include the heater. And we're going to sell you for a 25 30% profit margin. There you go. How about that? But you are not scheduled. So I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We've got two of you going in. We're not going to add the one. We're going to add the alarm. No, we're not. Yeah, no, we're going to. We can't do it now. We have to do it for another time. And now we can sell. Oh, yeah. Now we can sell the micro alarm one. Add new entry micro alarm one. Cool. That's how we do it. Then what have you got to say for yourself? Have you checked the showroom lately? Yeah, yeah, I know. But look at it. Two hours. It's a base. One hour. It's a base. In showroom, five. Wow, look at you. Two hours. Oh, we this is okay. We've got it now. Okay, so you roll out one model, then you create a mark of that model which you sell. Stop the production of the first one, and it still gets a market opportunity. And that way, you don't have to stop your lines. Okay, now, now I believe we are starting to cook with my, what might loosely be described as gas. And look at that, one point three. How is manufacturing seats going? I have no idea what you do when you manufacture seats, though. I really do not. Napa, red and white. Well, we no. There's lots of stuff we can do. Then we, oh, then we probably need to move into car design as the next thing. Yeah, because we, yeah. That's what we need to be doing. Well, I like the idea of producing a compact. Yeah, I do, actually. And then the small van. Then the SUV. Yeah, okay, that's what we're doing. Uh, but we also need to be behaving and being profitable. And I think, I think we've got this under control. Yeah, I really do think we've got it under control. And we don't have the problem of, of models that don't have features because they're brand new models. Yeah, so that's how, that's how I think we're going to get this to work. So we're full, fully utilised, not fully utilised, and we've got a lot of capacity up there yet. It's 
to that going pretty well. Oh my gosh, this guy keeps talking to me. Need more cars mid-range. Yeah, I get that. All right, now... Okay, we, we haven't gone over capacity yet. But we will at some point, I think. Oh, here we go. Seat manufacture. All right, now. Now we need to think about adding technology to our vehicles. And um, I quite like the concept of driver assistant assisted power steering. Although we have unlocked the environment issues, we're the very quick one. I oh, know we need body specialization. Right, I think I'm going to go for the driver assistance and the power steering. Competitors usage very rare, rare, expensive rare and luxury rare. I don't okay, we're gonna do this. Driver assistance. Okay. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna add another power unit. Um, down here. And I think I should add another research office as well. Uh, I like doing this actually because it just suits me. Okay, so one power, one research. So that's going to improve things a bit. Good. Paint's doing okay. Okay, now I think in the next round we'll start adding robots and make things a bit more efficient. Yeah, I'm I'm really sorry now that I hadn't figured out learning to just change out models in the production line rather than stop and clear the line. Um, because that really cost us efficiency and put us behind the eight ball quite a bit. Three hours in the showroom. I I think I could even put the um, price up a bit. Let's have a look at this for a minute. Uh, sorry, in the discount range. Let's let's make it a bit more interesting. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. That's eight hours. Let's add ten hours. And now we get up to twenty-five. And we'll get to 12 hours. And that gets us up to 30. And we could make it even more interesting, actually. If we went 4, 8... No, let's not do that. <laughs> oh, no. Mm, no. Okay. So now I'm not going to worry about it until it gets over 14 hours. Is that what I just said? Did I just say that? What did I just say? Yep, it's got to be in 14 hours and then I'll worry about it again. So we have to wait a while now. Okay. Well, this is exciting. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, just looking at the time there. Uh, very close on 50 minutes. It's time to call it an episode. I hope you've enjoyed uh, coming down here and working with me today on the factory floor. And my personal feeling is I think we might be on the right track. This is our Phoenix company, uh, Krumpota, Krumpota, 
uh, because we died miserably in our first attempt, but I think we're getting it in our second attempt. Well, I'm getting it anyway. You guys probably already had it thus way before I figured it out, but uh, that's where the clutch comes in, yeah? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so stay well, everyone. Uh, episode number eight will be coming up very soon in the Gig Channel, and I will look forward to seeing you all there. Until then, stay well, and I'll see you all later. Bye.